Hi guys, Ricardo here with the Bok Bok Bouquet, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build one of these guys. We call it a jungle gym, and uh, just to keep your chickens entertained. Stick around and watch. things are awesome because it makes your chickens, it gives them something to do. So instead of them getting bored and pecking on each other, it kind of maximizes your vertical space. So if, you, if your run's not that big, you can build things like this for them to perch on. It gives them something to do and uh, we're just going to get started. We're going to make this one about three foot long, foot and a half off the ground, and about a foot and a half wide as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my wood here to three feet. That's gonna give us our length for the, the piece that we're making today. It's three foot long, so it's gonna go like that. Um, if you don't have something like this or a skill saw at home, you can't get all these cut at Home Depot or Lowe's. Lowe's is like actually free. You can get them all cut at no cost to you. Our legs are gonna be a foot and a half long. That's 18 inches, so I'm gonna make four of those. It's gonna have four legs. I'm just marking where I'm gonna do all my cuts. That's gonna be four legs right there. We cut again. Four legs, now we're gonna do our little cross beams. And now we have our four cross beams. So it's gonna be a little something like this. Now this one's pretty small, but that's the space that, we're, that we have working with our pullets that are growing up right now. So that's what we're gonna give them, but they love jumping up here and roosting, they have preening parties, and they just like to just uh, hang out, catch the sun. Eyewear is very important, because otherwise you'll end up with all this stuff you see on my shirt inside your eyeball, so make sure you wear eye protection. Let's get to building it. We're gonna just lay, lay our pieces out like this. We got our corners and our cross beams. And we're gonna start by pre-drilling some holes. I'm gonna use my square here to make sure that it's nice and even. And now we're gonna use our impact driver for the screws. We're gonna repeat the same process on the other side using my square again so we have a nice 90 degree angle here. And we're putting this together. You can imagine like if it's a mini stud wall with legs on it. Just gonna eyeball these about there. They're about a foot apart. I'm not using the tape measure, but I'm just gonna eyeball it right there. The reason I'm pre-drilling those holes is so that when I put my screw in there, the wood doesn't split. Creates a path for the screw to go in, so without splitting the wood, goes in easier, nicer. And now we're gonna do this one here. And the reason I'm pre-drilling two holes and putting two screws in there is, if you only do one screw, these will end up spinning around on you. So if you put two, it holds them together better. One, and two. Okay, now we get to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna remove my clamps, spin it around. If we weren't filming, I would just come to this side of the table, but for your guys' sake, we're gonna flip it over and then attach this one here, reclamp it. We have an audience today back here. What do you guys think? This you guys can play on. You like it so far? Impact driver. Okay, that completes our base. Now we just gotta add some, some legs to this and then we're almost done. This comes together really quickly. We got our four legs. I like to just erect them like this. And again, we're gonna pre-drill some holes just like we did before.
And I'm just gonna do one more screw here to keep it more stable so it doesn't shake around on us. You didn't see that. Come back to this other side and do the two other legs. We're just about done. Last one. And guys, that is it. That is our jungle gym. And that's gonna go somewhere in their yard like that. They'll be able to jump up here for unlimited loads of fun. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna test it out with her in just a bit here. What you think, Griddle? Huh? Got a new little playground? Well, you guys, that wraps it up for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel to see more. And then we're going to see how she likes it there. All right, baby girl. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.